Did you know that fine-tuning AI models is predicted to be one of the most lucrative career paths of the next decade? Yet, most people are intimidated to even try it. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to fine-tune your first AI model so you can see how easy it is to get started on this potential new career path. I shut down my entire marketing agency when I realized how disruptive AI was going to be, and I believe that everybody's gonna to have to make a similar pivot. And that's what this channel is all about, helping you navigate those pivots. Mastering fine-tuning Tuning feels like one of the safest bets going forward, and I spent quite a few hours developing this straightforward three-step process that anybody can follow. Companies are desperate to find folks who understand how to create specialized AI tools that can solve unique business problems. People who understand fine-tuning will have an unfair advantage in the job market, and even Sam Altman called this out back right after ChatGPT launched, saying that fine-tuning would be a career for a very long time. So what exactly is fine-tuning? Well, Unlike prompting, fine-tuning actually retrains parts of the model itself. So if you can think of situations that require elaborate prompting to come up with a specific solution, that's a good candidate for fine-tuning. There are a ton of use cases for this. It's both an art and a science, and it's certainly not a silver bullet if you're struggling to prompt an LLM to come up with a certain response. Fine-tuning may or may not be the solution for that. The first step in this process is to prepare our training data, and I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the trickiest part, so bear with me, and let's just take a step back and think about what we're doing when we are fine-tuning these AI models. We are retraining them, and we're basically saying, hey, when I say this, I want you to respond with this. So you need to give a bunch of examples of how you want it to respond, but not only that, you want to get, you need to give it a bunch of examples of your user requests. So those are the two pieces that we need when we are fine tuning a model. So you're going to need somewhere between 20 to 100 or even over 100 examples of the responses that you are trying to get back from the AI model. But again, that trickier part is to come up with the prompt that would result in that specific reply. So the way I've done this is basically taking that reply and popping it into ChatGPT and saying, hey, what is a prompt that might create this? And that way you're using the AI to deconstruct that uh, particular response. Jumping right into the cheat sheet, I make a cheat sheet for every single video that I create. And in this cheat sheet, I have a spreadsheet that is actually what I use when I'm building my training data and I'm trying to deconstruct the responses and create the um, second part of the training set that we need, which are the prompts that created those responses. You can see in the spreadsheet here, I have in the first tab, all of the different examples, responses of what I'm looking to get from the AI. These are actual titles from YouTube videos that have performed well. That's gonna be our use case today, is training the model to create YouTube titles in the way that I want them to be created. You can think about using this for social media, ad copy, all sorts of things. In the second tab here, we deconstruct construct those and really just ask the AI to describe this particular response. I use a tool called GPT for Sheets for this, which I'm a huge fan of. I mentioned it in many other videos. This allows us to access ChatGPT right here in the spreadsheet so we can do this all in bulk. So again, I've got my ideal title. Then here it asks this prompt in a few words, describe what this YouTube video is all about. And when you connect that using this GPT for Sheets formula, it gives you that little result. Now that's just the description. In this next tab, we take that little description and we concatenate it or combine it with this. This is the same for every single one of these. And that turns it into this final result, this final prompt that results in this particular uh, YouTube title. You see from there, we can just do this in bulk and just drag all this stuff out and let the AI do all the hard work. Now we've got the full user requests here and the successful titles here. And we can easily then copy and paste those into this file, which is exactly what we need when we're fine tuning our model. Column A has the user requests. Column B has what the agent should respond with. And that's how you wanna title those. Column one should be titled user and column B, agent. 
And there you go. That's pretty much the hard part of this. So if you need to go back and watch that a couple times or hit me up in the comments, join the Patreon. I can definitely help you walk through anything you get stuck on in there. Um, from here, it gets a lot easier. So from here, we need to convert your spreadsheet into this JSON format that is what uh, OpenAI wants. Here's what that looks like. That might look like a big headache to you, which is what it looked like to me at first. But if you know somebody who's good at writing scripts, they can easily create a little script that can transform your CSV into this format. And if you join my Patreon in the cheat sheet, there is a link to a piece of software that does this for you. This is a piece of software I built right in Replit. It was actually very easy. So I'm gonna take the training data file that we just created. I'm gonna download that as a CSV. I'm popping that right into here. And we wanna just add this output of really just describing what the system message should be. So in general, what is this thing doing? And you wanna give it a role. So don't overthink this. The system message can be pretty simple. And this is one of the things, like I said, that this is an art and a science. You can experiment with you know, how to improve your system messages to get the best results that you want. So now we're converting this to JSON. We see a little preview of this and we can download that file. And now we're going to platform.openai.com. This is kind of the developer side of OpenAI. And you want to go to fine tuning here, create a new fine tune model, keep it as supervised, base model. I have had the best success with 4.0. The other one you might want to experiment with is 4.0 mini. We'll click on that. And here is the trick. I have had a lot of trouble. It won't load that file in right in here. So the trick I learned the hard way is you've got to go to storage and upload your file into storage here. Open that up and this we select fine tune, upload, and it's all good to go. Now we can go into fine tuning over here. We can create our fine tune model. Again, selecting that 4.0 and now select existing and we're gonna need that file ID from that storage. So I always forget that, but you can just click that to copy that back into your model. That's the file we wanna use. So you just click create. That's gonna to start to run. I don't know how long it takes, maybe a half hour, something like that. The cost, uh, really 25 cents for something like this. So you can afford to you know, run a few of these and, and test them out. Once this is done running, the final step is to actually test it and to see what your results are. So here's one that I fine tuned yesterday. And the way to test this, the quickest and easiest way is to build a little assistant. So we go up to this assistance tab, we're gonna create a new assistant assistant here. We're going to call it YT title bot. I'm going to leave these system instructions blank. And then you select the model that you fine tune. So you should see your models showing up in here. And we're selecting that leaving all of this blank, not messing with any of that and click create. And now we'll go to our playground and we will find our YT title bot. And this is where we can test it out. I'm gonna say, um, create a YouTube title about showcasing innovative applications of OpenAI's operator. I'm gonna run that. Yeah, nine genius uses of OpenAI's operator. So that is much closer than if I was just to drop that into ChatGPT. It would give me a whole long story and all this. And you can deploy this now pretty much anywhere. You can use Zapier to deploy this just as a bot on your website. You can use tools like Make or N8N to plug these fine-tuned models into specific steps very easily. So that's the process, gathering your data and especially building those prompts. That's the toughest part. Running the fine-tuning is easy. You're just gonna follow those steps, although there is a lot of rabbit holes you can go down on improving the results and then testing it right there in the playground and then deploying it you know, wherever you see fit in the various tools that uh, are the way you want to interact with it. So in the cheat sheet, I've got notes about all that. I've got, like I said, that example spreadsheet and you can just copy and paste this and put in whatever your final results might be here and use this to deconstruct those and build that training data. You're gonna to need to plug it into your GPT for sheets. Uh, but then once you've gathered that training data, you've got my CSV converter there that just converts that for you into something you can upload right into uh, OpenAI to get a feel for you know how it's working. But 
There's a lot more in here getting into the nitty gritty of this, including you know other real world use cases for this, but it actually goes way more in depth into building your fine tuning business, including how to find clients who might need this service, how to price this service, how to pitch these clients, and how to manage these types of projects. So if you're excited about fine tuning and think this might be a career opportunity for you, this cheat sheet might be something you're interested in checking out. You can grab this cheat sheet and over 125 other cheat sheets by joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description. I've got some coaching options in there as well. But give yourself a little pat on the back for getting through this and getting your mind wrapped around how to actually fine tune and train your own AI models. This is a massive skill for anybody going forward looking to pivot into this new world world of AI. You want to be creative about how you apply this. That makes me think of another video that I've made here. This is all about coming up with innovative ideas. Check that out. I'll see you over there. Make your dreams come true.